are Change Lovely here with We Are Change San Jose. We have a nice little ABC News anchor over here. Let's see if we can uh, make some uh, headlines over here. Yes, Obama! He is a puppet! George Bush is also a puppet! They are owned by the banks! What do you do at Tokelberg, Obama? What do you do at Tokelberg? What were you and Hillary Clinton doing at Bilderberg, Obama? Why are you meeting with royal family, with European bankers, with heads of industry in Europe? Why can't you provide a birth certificate? Why are you not a natural born citizen and you call yourself, you call yourself a president? Yes, Obama, why would your first executive order to seal up any records that has to do with your past? Hey guys, I'll gladly be interviewed to uh, speak about Obama. I'm kind of a local expert over here. You're not, you're not going to win many friends doing that during our live show. Oh, that's fine. I mean, I might be more inclined to talk to you, but after that, no thanks. We've heard plenty of you all. <laughs> plenty of me. What's wrong with us? It's just really, really loud. I couldn't even hear what we were doing. I, I can repeat it for the camera if you want. It can be a little bit quieter. Yeah, yeah. That, I have no problem doing that for you guys. Let me. I can film you, actually. I'll interview you. So, uh, what do you think of Obama's continued uh, Middle East wars, ABC News? Well, I guess they have no comment on that matter over at ABC. Hey, definitely, man. Keep that up, man. That's good. That's what I want to hear out here. That's the good stuff. Nice little all C and I on the microphone, if you can see it over there for uh, CBS. 9-11 was an inside job. After uh, CBS News, please report the truth. Obama lied on the campaign trail and re-signed the Patriot Act. Yes, it's true. He's also sending more troops into Afghanistan, killing more innocent people. Yes, he continues occupying Iraq. What did he say on the campaign trail? We were going to end the wars. Sorry, guys. We can interview. You can interview if me want. I'll gladly talk to you guys. We have the all-seeing eye on the microphone. How lovely is that? A Columbia production. Please, only stick to the script. You are not allowed to ad-lib or speak your mind while speaking on the microphone. Please, there is a script in front of you. Please, read only off the yellow paper. We do not want Americans to hear the truth. That may wake them up to realize that this is all a facade. This is a matrix. Yes, we have a two-party system. Both of them are bought and paid for by the corporation. CBS, we don't like you talking about the New World Order. We don't like you talking about Bilderberg. Please do not talk about Bilderberg. Please do not talk about Obama visiting Bilderberg. Please don't talk about 9-11. Please don't talk about 9-11 being an inside job. Please don't talk about your government killing its own citizens. Please don't talk about our government bringing us to war based on lies. Yes, the American people can't handle the fact that our government has killed over 1.25 million people. Okay. Do you guys know that we're spotlighting the protests, but I can't spotlight we're on live you guys TV out too. if you guys screw up with our live shot. So they just ended our live shot. They just so, ended the live shot. Yes. That's so fine. So now we're dead, and nothing gets shown, and your cause gets no exposure. Well, it wasn't going to get it, and it already doesn't it get did. exposure. It was how many times? Place. Let me ask you. How many times you guys talked about Bilderberg uh, on your television news? No, I'm curious. I've, I'm had, a... I've had to show a million different aspects from a million different people. That's perfect. I just want to know how many guys you guys talked about 9/11 Truth or Bilderberg. How many times have you guys talked about Bilderberg or 9/11 Truth? Or I'm asking you guys. How many guys have you talked about Bilderberg or 9/11 Truth? Keep talking. Go for it. You got your exposure. Go for it. Okay. So we're out here today because, frankly, the mainstream news doesn't exactly represent the people. Right now, we have a president that meets in secret with European royal family with bankers. It's, it's a thing called Bilderberg. Do not Google Bilderberg because what you'll come across is every year the elite individuals of society meet. It doesn't matter if the Republicans or Democrats. They're basically obligated to go to this meeting and get their marching orders. The president, he's a puppet. It doesn't matter if he's a Democrat or if he's a Republican. They have an agenda that they must follow. Right now, it's continuing the wars in the Middle East. It's continuing giving more power to the Federal Reserve, which is a private bank. It is not an actual government institution. And right now, they print money out of thin air. When they do that, that creates inflation and robs the wealth of the American people. Okay, are you good? I'm good, thank you. I appreciate it. I will, I go live I will lay off you guys now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys.
appreciate it. Architects and engineers for 9/11 Truth. Yeah, right. uh, yes, and uh, that's also a very important organization. And they don't get it. Here we are getting uh, interviewed by I think it's uh, NBC News. What, uh, what messages have they uh, said so far? If I can get your word that you uh, that you'll talk, if you can get if I can get your word that you'll talk to me, I will gladly not blast you. I'll talk to you as soon as I get done. I appreciate it. Thank you. I would ask him why he went and met with the Bilderbergers and uh, why he continues to lie to us and why his campaign was built on lies and he's not following through with anything that he's said during his campaign. Okay. We are out here today because President Obama is making a stop at the Fairmont Hotel and it is crucial we get the message out that these presidents are puppets. So it doesn't matter if we have a Republican or a Democrat in office. They're both bought and paid for. And they also have an agenda that they must stick to. Right now, that agenda is giving more power to the Federal Reserve, which is a private bank that's printing our money. That agenda is occupying Iraq and Afghanistan, committing genocide over there. We killed over 1.25 million people in Iraq alone. Now, we don't have a government that represents us. We saw that in the bailout, where 90% of the public was against bailing out these Wall Street banks that made fortunes off the backs of the working people. So it's essential that we expose that this whole government is a facade. This democracy doesn't matter. The votes don't count. Stalin once said, it doesn't matter who gets the vote, it's who counts them. So we have to just expose that it doesn't matter if it's a Democrat or Republican. The U.S. people are not going to be represented and it's definitely going to be misrepresented. And whatever you do, don't Google 9-11 truth. Whatever you do, because that will cause you to wake up and question why we are in these wars right now. Right, because if people realize that 9-11 was a facade, they might start doing their research. And they'll see that the Gulf of Tonkin, which got us into Vietnam, never actually happened. And that is actually declassified in military documents. So sure, we wiped out a whole American generation and a few million Vietnamese people over what, a lie? No big deal. What's going on, man? Do you have sound on that thing? OK. Whatever you do, people of the Fairmont and American people, do not Google Bilderberg. What you will find is that we have, no matter if it's a Democrat or Republican as president, meeting in secret with the world's elites. What do you do at Bilderberg, Obama? What do you do at Bilderberg? Why are you setting world policy with world politicians? Why won't you listen to the 9-11 Truth Movement? Why won't you reopen a 9-11 investigation? Obama, why did you lie on the campaign trail saying you would repeal the Patriot Act? We know about Bilderberg, Willie. Willie Brown, don't ask Obama about Bilderberg. He will not want to tell you that he meets in secret with the top global elite, just like all the other Republicans and Democrats preceding him. Do not ask him why his administration is full of council and foreign relation members and trilateral commission members. Do not ask him. It will be very inconvenient. The global elite bankers will be very upset with you, Willie. Willie, don't ask him about Bilderberg. Don't ask him about 9-11 Truth or the Gulf of Tonkin. We have the Neon Motorcycle Gang. <laughs> Here in full effect, wearing their European colors. Charlie from the Love Police would love to know that the UK police are making their debut here in San Francisco today. We're not enslaved, Obama. The American people are done sleeping. <laughs> 